the focus of the piece and the characters is about the problems of being a part of a family unit and how do you, you know, exist within that and also become your own person and grow up and the, uh, that kind of uneasy relationship between those those different things that we all go through, the relationship between parents and children and this piece all, you know, springs from the death of a parent, which is something that everybody goes through and when that happens it brings up so much from one's life, from one's past, from one's relationships. I'm sort of treating this piece the way I treat any piece. It's uh, maybe a matter of letting go of some more literal aspects of the libretto, which I often tend to do in any kind of piece I'm doing, and maybe try to dig, dig into some deeper levels and try to play some of the deeper levels out on the surface as opposed to playing it uh, totally real realistically or naturalistically, which just isn't my, that isn't what interests me. It was the Reagan era in Houston, Texas, and here's this kind of a spiky, intense, very angst-ridden piece with some even sort of 12 tony kind of music in it and a couple of, you know, gay characters, main characters. So, hello, was it, is it a surprise that that thing wasn't a hit in Houston in that, in that era? No. I mean, it was a very difficult birth, this piece. It was a very intense experience for everybody involved, starting with Bernstein, how hard it was for him to write this piece and how he pulled it out from deep inside himself. And it's so personal, and it's so intense, it's so, so fraught, um, which is, you know, it's fantastic for that reason. Now, almost 30 years after this piece was premiered, hopefully, uh, you know, from a distance now, people can look at this piece and see it with fresh eyes and be able to accept it and, and let go a lot of the of a lot of the baggage that audiences, critics, etc., et seem to have about Bernstein in that era, which seems ridiculous to me, you know, especially in retrospect.